In previous years, we've often profiled some of the scariest looking fugitives for our Halloween's Most Wanted. This year, there's enough scary things occurring with reports of scary clowns lurking around schools, persons overdosing on drugs, and increases of thefts from vehicles and homes. Not to mention events occurring nationally and internationally in our world. So we decided to profile some of the more serious charges of fugitives, as it's quite scary knowing that they're out there on the street somewhere and us not knowing what they're doing. In this day and age, it's so important that citizens be alert to what is occurring around them. Remember the saying, if you see something, say something. This also applies to our local communities. If you see something suspicious, please contact local law enforcement. Vanessa Rose Cash, 26-year-old white female wanted for violation of probation on a conviction of a controlled dangerous substance possession charge with intent to distribute, not marijuana. Cash is five foot, five inches tall, 140 pounds with brown hair. She also has a tattoo on her left wrist. She has been sentenced to 18 months in the Queen Anne's County Detention Center with all of that suspended, except for one day and given probation. Well, that one day in jail must not have made an impression on her, as she has since been charged with assault, failed to report to her agent, failed to complete any drug and alcohol treatment, or pay any of the court costs. It appears she needs a bit more time in jail to get herself straight. Cash was last known to be living in Severn in Anne Arundel County. Jerry Lee Hunnell, wanted for a violation of probation from 2012. The original charges included attempted kidnapping and contribute to the delinquency of a minor. Hunnell is a 48-year-old white male, six foot, 200 pounds, with gray and brown hair and with numerous tattoos. He sometimes goes by the nickname of Buzzy. At the time of the warrant that was issued, Hunnell had an address located in Riverdale, Maryland. He could still be living in Prince George's County where he has family connections. He could also be living in Rehoboth to the Ocean City area. If you have any information on Mr. Hunnell's whereabouts, you're urged to send us that anonymous tip. Jeffrey Christopher Grove II, wanted for violation of probation on a manufacturer controlled dangerous substance conviction after he failed to participate in drug and alcohol treatment, pay any related costs, and appear in court when he was asked to. Grove is a white male, 29 years old, listed as six foot, 190 pounds. His last known address was on Marion Quimby Drive in Stevensville. Latest information indicated that he has relocated to the Hackettstown, New Jersey area. If you have any contact with him, or friends and family in the New Jersey area, please share this with them. Many of you have seen this person profiled before, Susan Louise Frosch. In November of 2004, Susan Frosch was stopped for a possible driving while impaired, which led to a search of her vehicle. As a result of the stop, she was arrested and issued numerous citations and possession of a controlled dangerous substance charge. In 2005, she pled guilty in Queen Anne's County Circuit Court to a felony possession of controlled dangerous substance, not marijuana, and was sentenced to 20 years with all but one year suspended. In 2011, a warrant for a violation of probation was issued for her arrest. At the time, she had relocated to Florida. At some point, she was contacted and advised that she was unable to return to Maryland as it was too expensive. Frosch is a white female, 63 years old, listed as five foot seven inches tall and 165 pounds. She's believed to still be in the Florida area or possibly Tennessee, but it is originally that she is from Herlock, Maryland. If you have any information on her whereabouts, you can send me that anonymous tip or contact local law enforcement authorities. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. As first responders, we see too much of abuse and assault between family members. If you or a friend are a victim of domestic abuse, you may contact our office at any time or call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-VIOLENCE for more information. Stay safe.
Devin Michael Fisher. Fisher is a 35-year-old male wanted for a violation of probation on an assault conviction. Listed as five foot eight inches tall, 140 pounds, with blonde hair and blue eyes. His last known address was a group home in East Newmarket. However, a tipster last advised that he was living in the Baltimore area. Be sure to look closely at the pictures as Fisher has numerous tattoos on both arms and his neck. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to send us that anonymous tip. As Halloween is quickly approaching, there are some things that you should be aware of. Here are a few safety tips to keep all the little ghosts and goblins safe. Always wear bright, reflective clothing when out there trick-or-treating. It's a great idea to carry a flashlight, but don't carry a candle or any other lit object. Travel in two or more ghosts or goblins. This way you can be seen and you can also be hanging out with a buddy. It's also important to make sure that when you return home, you let your parents check all of the treats. Although we've had no indication that anyone would tamper with something, it's always a good idea to let your parents take a look at the candy as well as get the first pick. Our deputies will be out there along with allied agencies patrolling the streets of Queen Anne's County this Halloween season. If you see anything suspicious, any ghosts or ghouls, you're urged to contact the sheriff's office and report the suspicious activity. When you're reporting suspicious activity, please take a note of what the person looks like. You may also want to document the vehicle that they're in, and it would be very helpful for us if you get a tag number as well. Again, we hope you have a very safe and happy Halloween. Trick or treat.